Hello there, and welcome to Tabletop Simulator Tutorial Part 1, Installing and Loading Mods, X-Wing Style. Today I will talk to you through how to install Tabletop Simulator and your favorite games. First and foremost, you will need to install Steam. Create a Steam account and set up your information. You can simply Google search Steam and access their website for installation instructions. After Steam is installed, you will want to access the Steam Store and install Tabletop Simulator. Buy the Tabletop Simulator pack and begin the installation. Once it is installed, don't click play just yet. The game comes with standard models, but you will need to subscribe to your favorite games in order to load them. So while you are in Steam, click on Tabletop Simulator under Library, click on the Workshop tab, and you can search under Tabletop Simulator for all of your favorite games. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate the X-Wing Miniatures game. Search for X-Wing Unified 2.0 and take a look through what is available. You will notice several versions of add-ons or mods. Currently, the community is using X-Wing 2.0 Unified created by Johnny Cheese. Simply hover over the mod and click the plus icon or subscribe. You can also click on the photo and check out further update information with the mod itself. Once you're subscribed, you can open Tabletop Simulator. Click the Create button and choose Single Player. Single Player allows you to play your mod locally without interference from other players online. Multiplayer allows other players to join your game openly if they know your server name and password if you've set one up. But for now, let's do a single player test. You will see multiple games already loaded, but we want to look under your workshops for now. Under Workshops, click X-Wing Unified 2.0 and then Load. Depending on your computer speed, it may take several seconds or minutes to load. Once it has completed, you are now ready to use the full mod and all of its components. You have access to all of the X-Wing 2.0 ships, cards, tokens, and mats. We can start with the basic functions of TTS. In order to move the camera, you can use your WASD or WAS and D. The A moves the camera left, the D moves right, W moves the camera up, while S moves it down. You can also rotate or pivot your camera by holding down the left mouse button and moving it up, down, left, and right to move or re-angle the camera. You can also zoom in or zoom out by scrolling if you have an actual scroll on your mouse by scrolling in and out to zoom in. There's also the shortcut to zoom in on an item by holding down the M button wherever your mouse is pointed and it will actually pull up a magnifying glass. You may also zoom in and zoom out by using your mouse or scroll. Most of the items or tokens are locked to the table and allow you to grab them from an infinite pile. You can hover the mouse over each token and it will describe the item and let you click and drag items to your map. You can also spawn dice, damage decks, bombs, and other X-Wing components for aces high or mission packs. You may also notice certain items such as bombs or obstacles have numbers in their descriptions. This shows different models within a single token. Simply choose a number to change the token to one of the previously loaded states. In this case, the bombs have 1 through 5 which lets you cycle through all 5 different types of bombs. Obstacles have the same function with 6 choices to represent different expansions. You may also right click on an item to perform the same steps above by cycling through the state option to choose another model. You may also duplicate items by selecting or hovering over an item and pressing Ctrl C. Then you can paste another copy by pressing Ctrl V. There is also the copy and paste option or clone option when you right click on an item. The clone option allows you to duplicate multiple copies at once instead of the copy and paste method as I just stated. The mat also has buttons such as toggle rulers or next play mat. These options are single click features that can change the board state to add rulers for the rock placement or ship placement. Simply toggle through each of them to select the desired result. There are multiple items to interact with such as the game clock, damage decks, and list spawner. That is the console that is at the edge of the map over here. We will cover that in our next episode on how to spawn lists and set up your game. Thank you again for watching and fly what's fun.